Hey y'all, it's Kenya the sweetest thing and welcome to another edition of Sweet Talk. Now, like I said in the video before the video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, today we're going to talk about a very, very serious topic. Um, when the Rihanna and Chris Brown situation came about, a lot of people asked me why didn't I make a video about it? Why didn't I come forth and speak about it? And the truth was, I was at a point in my life when I was still dealing with my domestic violence situation. And I had completely overcame what I had been going through. So there was no way possible as a person and being as ethical as I could be that I could come before you all and speak to you all about a subject or an issue that I'm dealing with myself. Shout out to my girls from Tuskegee because this all came about when I received the letter from three young ladies. Um, it wasn't a letter about anything that they were going through. It was about a letter uh, from someone they were helping. A young lady who was going through a very tragic situation with her loved one, her significant other, who saw fit to put his hands on her. And it was affecting her and her child. So shout out to my girls from Tuskegee. Um, when I got the letter, I immediately knew it was time. It was time for me to bring this up. So, when I hear it on a Rihanna and Chris Brown situation, as a now, I can understand why anybody would hit Rihanna, baby. She needs the spanking because I don't know what Miss Thing going through. All that demonic stuff, honey. She better pray a tad bit more often. But when I hear of someone in, in a relationship and they're fighting and, and whether it's male or female male and male female and female whatever you do that's you but when it gets to a point where that other person or even you feel like you need to hit someone else it's time to go and it's easier said than done but baby it's time to go because when I think of a person hitting another person I think of a parent chastising their child as a way of punishment as a way to make them understand as a way to make them obey but I could have swore when the story started out we were talking about two adults nobody has the right to put their hands on you and neither do you have the right to put your hands on anybody else and and, and like I said it's easier said than done but baby trust me after being divorced for a couple of months now if I can overcome it you can overcome it. At no point you should become someone's punching bag. At no point you should allow someone to take their frustrations out on you. At no point, even if it's verbal abuse, physical abuse, no type of abuse at all. I understand disagreement. It's okay. And then, and then it's okay to agree to disagree. But baby, if you got to hit me for me to understand what you're saying, maybe we don't need to be talking. Baby, if I, I just want to bring it out and make it noticeable, it's a lot of this going on. And, and we have to protect ourselves. We have to protect our brothers. We have to protect our sisters. Regardless of who's the victim and who's the predator, we have to protect them. So I as a person who's overcame domestic violence and, and seen it when I was coming up, I tell you now, it's not right. Baby, it, it's not the right thing to do. That's not the way love goes. If you're in a domestic violence relationship, I demand that you seek some kind of attention. I demand you talk to somebody about it. I charge you to get help because it's not right. Once again, y'all, it's Kenya, the sweetest thing. This is a subject very near and dear to my heart. I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from. If you know somebody who needs help, who needs to talk about it, contact me. CollegeReady06 at Yahoo.com. That's C-O-L-L-E-G-E-R-E-A-D-Y. 06 at yahoo.com um, Sweet nothings are still going Maybe they need an inspiring word every morning Tell them to text me 678-552-8766 Along with sweet in their name And we can get them some inspiration From somewhere Y'all this is a very serious topic It's Kenya the sweetest thing I have said more than I needed to say But you can never say enough about a subject as touchy as this. Y'all get help. It's another Sweet After Taste production. Bye, y'all.